In this video lecture, we're going to talk about generics in uh, the C language. And the best place to look for information on this is in my course notes, in the notes entitled Generics in C, C++, and Java. C does not have a generic template like either C++ or Java, but it does have void stars. And that's the way that we get generic data types in C. So as an example right here, we have a list node struct that we have declared the value as a void star. And a void star is going to allow us to uh, store any type of value as long as we have a pointer to that value. And it doesn't matter whether that value is a primitive type like an integer or a uh, user constructed type such as a payroll record. With void stars, we can also create generic functions. So here we've created a generic min function. You can see that min is taking two elements that we're comparing, both as void stars, and it's going to return the minimum of those two. It's also taking the comparator function, which is the key to making this function generic. As you can see, the comparison function takes two void stars, returns an int to indicate which is less. So our min function simply calls the comparison function with element 1 and element 2 as uh, arguments. And if the value is less than 0, returns element 1, and otherwise returns element 2. Notice the whole time we only had to deal in void stars. The comparison function is responsible for downcasting its arguments to the appropriate type and doing the comparison. As an example, here is a string compare function that takes two void stars. And as you can see, what we do is we call string compare and we downcast each of the two arguments to char stars because we know that is the type of these arguments. Then, in our main program, we are simply comparing two command line arguments. And the way we do that is we simply pass argv1 and argv2. And since every pointer type is a subtype of void star, it's always permissible to pass any pointer to a void star. Notice also we're passing string compare as our comparison function. Finally, when we get the return value from min, we downcast it to a char star because we know that we passed in char stars as arguments. Now this is a somewhat cumbersome process to perform in C, and you'll note that the code is rather cluttered and the void stars are pretty uninformative. That's why C++ and Java both introduced generics to make the code seem a little less cluttered. The advantage of the C code is that one copy of the code works with multiple objects, just like in Java. The disadvantage is that you're going to have to do your downcasting explicitly. In Java, the compiler automatically inserts the downcasts and ensures that those are safe at runtime. But as a programmer inserting those downcasts, it's much more prone to error. Then, as I said, the code often has a cluttered appearance. Also, another advantage is that void stars do allow us to support both generic data structures and generic functions.